Yeah. So, let's see where we're at. Oh, can't see anything out there. It's kind of fog. Yeah, let's look out the other way. Yeah, yeah fog. Ooh, even the base is hard to see. There's some land over there. Huh. Uh, it disappears over there until you see land again. Huh. Let's go out and have a look see. Huh. We got our foam out of here, so it must mean it's warmer outside. I think it's pissing again. So maybe we get to see, maybe it won't. Boogeyman's up here. It's about 70 something, probably about 72 degrees. Warm. There's Boogeyman. He's laying down out of the wind. It's kind of pissy. Well, out of the south, see, get the weather going through. Coming this way. And Sea State looks about like what it says it is. The computer says it is. We've got a ship's computer that tells us all kinds of information about the bottom. I was just looking at the bottom. Oh, puppy my body. Oh, booger me the body. Kinda got this cleaned up yesterday in order. Got a good hundred and something pounds of water in this one. That's over two hundred and something pounds full. Got the buckets full. We're leaning a little to one side of it this morning. I could have took a picture, but the dinghy on this side was full of water up to the seat, leaning over hard, and the other side was over half full. Yeah, over a thousand pounds of water easily in that dinghy. I didn't even dare to climb into it to stress it out anymore, but you can see we're back on our choker. We did deploy last night our second bridle. It's ready to go with the cleat hanging to the reserve anchor. The emergency unit here comes up besides on the side here and comes over to the side where it's clear it'll be the last section of rope to go off the bottom of this layer pile of this will pull out deploy the chain release the collar anchor goes the whole pile goes it takes the last three feet we flop this over and out she goes again on our second bridle uh, to both sides this one's a little looser on this side probably needs to be snugged up a little bit more I could probably do that but anyways getting solar I five a.m. it got pretty interesting for a little bit we got laid over and uh, yeah, had a tropical storm coming up from Florida it's warm come on here my panties and my top huh, I don't know I'm comfortable I'm not bad a little chilly because it's wet I mean it's pissing out, so I'm getting pissed on by warm piss from the sky. Not bad. So, went through our stuff. And now our next deal is uh, to lay the big beams like this that go down from that cleat right there, straight out the back, and straight out the back with risers on them. And, uh, big beams though, these are like half the size. And they'll secure down to a frame right here, a lock-in, and then they'll secure down at the aft tie into those big steel eyes there and a bolt at the aft end so it can't rattle around and yeah it'll work out pretty well the dinghy will be off the back and higher this will be going through at this height and then it'll actually go up to this high the dinghy will be up much out of the water off the back end and no more side kind of tidied up this stuff yesterday got our box mounted in here Put some cross supports. This is a little bit of weight. One panel and a few sheets of plywood, you know, a couple hundred pounds. But uh, cross tied this, tied it in, tied it in on the other side so it can't wobble around. It's starting to wobble a little bit from the waves. We'll lower this down to about an inch above the panel so we can put a mat or put, put something small in there if we need to. A sheet is something we're working on. This will go down low and it'll be at an angle actually coming up to meet that. And that'll be up a half an inch, an inch higher, and then it'll go an inch higher in the back, but be more forward. We're gonna move the pallet up and uh, get out of the way of the traveler, but I think we got it all figured out. And uh, then all this goes away, I gotta cut that foam up and uh, get that in the bottom of the boat has to go in the bottom of the boat and use that foam up and then Kimmy won't have to bail 
That'll give me 10 inches in the bottom of the back there. And then I'll pour foam, two part foam over the top and seal it in. And then eventually we'll flip it up on deck and uh, get it all fiberglass. It'll all be nice white fiberglass. The boat has to be redone eh, one day at a time. But yeah, it was over the seat. The gas can was floating again, but I filled it up three quarters full of gas and locked it in between so it wasn't tipped over upside down. Yesterday I had to purge the whole tank, go through a big mess, get salt water in there, it's no good. So this is a fuel injection, electronic, you know, fancy four-stroke motor. Yeah, that'll run once and that'll be it. Go ahead, go down. And, uh, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, doing our little check-in here. Figured I uh, always wish you a good morning. We're uh, getting ready to pull anchor after the storm and stuff clears here. We'll move to our new location and do some more sea trials, get some sails going up. But the weather blew in, it got cold, had a lot of stuff to do, had to go through those lines up front. That could have been really dangerous. Uh, it, we thought it was set up, but we hadn't actually rehearsed putting the D-ring on the big thing. It was about a sixteenth of an inch too small, so it was about 45 minutes in the wind and the blow last night. It was cold. Uh, getting that prepared. So now all we have to do is deploy it. So uh, just one more thing we figured out here, instead of in a critical time when seconds count. Yeah, we would have ended up over there. It wouldn't have been pretty. We do have our emergency anchor over there ready to go too, so it'll stop us. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get up, but it'll definitely stop the boat. Okay, wishing you an awesome day. Hopefully the sun's shining somewhere where you're at. I don't mind this. This is beautiful tropical weather. It's in the 70s right now. It's just warm. It's actually warmer than in the boat this morning because we had a 50 degree, 47 degree, two day blow coming out of the northeast and it'll wrap around in that later and then we'll get the sun in another day with uh, more tropical as that storm works its way north. Okay, bye bye.